Saving Grace Homeless Shelter has been battling the homelessness problem in the area for just over a year. The shelter is ran by volunteers and is supported through donations and fundraising. It takes the help of the entire community to have this facility available to those who need it. The shelter is not simply a handout, it is most certainly a hand up. We can uh, hold up to six in the, in the actual resident room. In an emergency situation, we can hold two more in the volunteers room, eight, up to eight. Uh, usually the next day, you can stay the first night, and then the next day one of our requirements is that they apply for permanent housing and uh, some sort of income at the unemployment office or if they're putting in job applications, show proof of that. And uh, also, like food stamp benefits, some way to feed themselves. You know, we're trying to get them basically, like I said, it's an emergency shelter. So we're trying to get them on their feet as, as soon as possible, you know, to help themselves. Homelessness is not a poverty issue. Anyone can find themselves in need of emergency shelter. You know, I've had a pretty uh, rough history in my past. And once I started to uh, try to find my way, you know, it's easy for me to know when you've been there that how easily it is to become homeless. You know, at any given moment, we're two steps away from being in the same position that a lot of people who come here are. You know, uh, a couple of missed payments, and you know, you're in, in a hard way. You get an injury, and you know, you've missed a car payment, you're walking. If you would like to donate to or volunteer at the homeless shelter, contact them through Facebook. If you are in need of emergency shelter, contact the Letcher County Sheriff's Department and transportation can be provided to you. Reporting from Neon for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.